welcome to the Church of the Holy Trinity in Juneau, Alaska. We are so glad that you're joining us today to worship. You can find our bulletin on our website, trinityjuneau.org, and click on the Sunday Bulletin link. And we invite you to join with us in the service as we sing and pray, read scripture, and worship God. My friends, we are called to lives of prayerful awareness of ourselves, of our community, and of the world. We gather to praise the living God who hears and answers the outpouring of our prayers. May we be awakened to the voice of Christ who calls us in faithfulness. May our faith be seen in using God's resources and resourcefulness in serving the world. Blessed be God, most holy, glorious, and undivided Trinity. And blessed be God's reign, now and forever. Amen. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit. A broken and contrite heart God will not despise. Let us come to the Lord, who is full of compassion, and acknowledge our transgressions in penitence and faith. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The whole congregation of the Israelites complained against Moses and Aaron. In the wilderness, the Israelites said to them, If only we had died by the hand of the Lord in the land of Egypt, when we sat by flesh pots and ate our fill of bread, for you have brought us out into this wilderness to kill this whole assembly with hunger. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to rain bread from heaven for you. And each day the people shall go out and gather enough for that day. In that way, I will test them whether they will follow my instructions or not. On the sixth day, when they prepare to gather to bring it in, it will be twice as much as they gather on the other days. So Moses said, Moses and Aaron said to all the Israelites, In the evening you shall know it was the Lord who brought you out of the land of Egypt. And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord, because he has heard your complaining against the Lord. For what are we that you complain against us? And Moses said, when the Lord gives you your meat to eat in the evening and your fill of bread in the morning, because the Lord has heard the complaining that you utter against him, what are we? Your complaining is not against us, but against the Lord. Then Moses said to Aaron, say to the whole congregation of the Israelites, Draw near to the Lord, for he has heard your complaining. And as Aaron spoke to the whole congregation of the Israelites, they looked towards the wilderness, and the glory of the Lord appeared in the cloud. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the complaining of the Israelites. Say to them, at twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread. Then you shall know 
that I am the Lord your God. In the evening, quails came up and covered the camp. And in the morning, there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew lifted, there on the surface of the wilderness was a fine flaky substance, as fine as frost on the ground. What? When the Israelites saw, saw it, they said to one another, what is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, it is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. Here ends the lesson. The psalm appointed to today are verses from Psalm 105. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek his face. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen. He led out his peoples with silver and gold, in all their tribes there was not one who stumbled. Egypt was glad of their going, because they were afraid of them. He spread out a cloud for a covering, and a fire to give light in the night season. They asked, and bells appeared, and he satisfied them with bread from heaven. He opened the rock and the water flowed, so the river ran dry in the dry places. For God remembered his holy word and Abraham his servant. So he led forth his people with gladness, his chosen with shouts of joy. He gave his people the lands of the nations, and they took the fruit of others' toil. That they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The second lesson this morning is from the book of Matthew. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And he said to them, you also go into the vineyard and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. And about five o'clock, he went out and found others standing around. And he said to them, why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, 
they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner saying, these last worked only one hour and you have made them equal to us who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first and the first will be last. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Declare our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. We believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And now, as our Savior Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Grant us, Lord, not to be anxious about earthly things, but to love things heavenly. And even now, while we are placed among things that are passing away, to hold fast to those that endure through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Open our hearts to the wisdom of your Son, that without concern for the cost of discipleship or the reward of our labors, we may group how incomparable, we may grasp how incomparable the honor of working in your vineyard from morning until night. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives with you and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. God of all who wander in the wilderness, you go before us as beacon and guide. Lead us through all danger, sustain us through all desolation, and bring us home to the land you have prepared for us. Amen. O oh God, from your providing hand, even the dissatisfied and grumbling receive what they need for their lives. Teach us your ways of justice and lead us to practice your generosity so that we may live a life worthy of the gospel made known through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God of silence and stillness, we trust you are with us in this time of noise and chaos. We pray for an end to this pandemic. Whisper your words of comfort, encouragement, and hope to all who need them in these days of fear. Draw close to them who are sick, and all who risk illness, caring for them, protecting and uplifting them. In your name we pray. Amen. O oh God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, and strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ, in whose holy name we pray. Amen. God of salvation, who sent your Son to seek out and save what is lost, hear our prayers on behalf of those who are lost in our day, receiving these petitions and thanksgivings with your unending compassion. We pray for our church, in our church, our presiding Bishop Michael Curry, the province of the Episcopal Church of South Sudan, our Bishop Mark Latim and his family, St. Paul's Church in Hughes, and St. Philip's in Wrangell. We pray for those in leadership positions, especially our president, our governor, our mayor, and all elected officials. We pray for the residents of Wildflower Court, the Pioneer Home, the Lemon Creek Correctional Center, Johnson Youth Center, Family Promise, Haven House, and the Glory Hall. We pray for Juno's homeless, the lonely, and those with financial difficulties. We pray for the end of violence and racism. We pray for peace and safety. We pray for the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for Sharon and Peter, Leah and Kira, Kathy Moss, Buzz and Monica, Alan and Rhonda Gaines, Stephen Rowcroft, the Vance and Kelly families, Phil and Janet, Mary, Lori R, Sharon Marvin, Father Wilson, Tony, Tina, Nancy Ferguson, the Coleman family, Bill. We pray for all those affected by the Pacific Coast fires. We give thanksgivings. We're grateful 
for our community of faith that is able to share with friends and family, not only in Juneau, but around the world. We pray for the departed, for Liz Saya, for Kathy Reddy, for Father Bob Hardman, for Griffin, for Cameron Vance, for all who have died during this pandemic. And we invite your petitions and intercessions at this time. Redeeming sustainer, visit your people and pour out your strength and courage upon us that we may hurry to make you welcome, not only in our concern for others, but by serving them generously and faithfully in your name. Amen. additional prayers, as is the tradition of this church, prayers for birthdays, anniversaries, and travelers, and as prayers for individuals, couples, and families, and our communities, and the means of connecting them. Prayers for birthdays, we have a list today, and uh, we have Tim, Michael, Don, Mary Alice, and Sheila. O oh God, our times are in your hand. Look with favor, we pray, on your servants, Tim and Michael and Don and Mary Alice and Sheila as they begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trusts in your goodness all the days of their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for anniversaries. We know of none, at least I know of none in the, in the congregation, but certainly there are couples and through couples families. God of tenderness and strength, you have brought many couples together and led them into marriage. You create families. Continue with them 
now as they travel through good times, through trouble, or through change. Bless their homes, their partings, and their meetings. Make them worthy of each other's bests and tender with each other's dreams. Trusting in your love, in Jesus Christ. Amen. Prayer for travelers. We know of four in the congregation. John Pollard, John Blue and Gordon Blue, and Wilson Valentine. Lord God, our Father, you kept Abraham and Sarah in safety throughout the days of their pilgrimage. You led the children of Israel through the midst of the sea, and by a star you led the wise men to the infant Jesus. Protect and guide those who set out to, to travel. Protect them in transit and make their ways safe and their homecomings joyful. And bring us at last to our heavenly home, where you dwell in glory with your Son and the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. I have announcements. And first off, please, if you want to participate in some of the things that are going on in the church, let us know and we will send you a Zoom invite. There's Centering Prayer and there's this Wednesday night, it's the book club discussion. And they're discussing A Pilgrimage to Eternity from Canterbury to Rome in Search of a Faith by Timothy Egan. It's a wonderful book, and, but even if you haven't read it, the discussion's always fun. So let the uh, church office know that you would like an invite to the Zoom session. Coming up at the end of the month, Dr. Mo Longworth is offering energy healing meditation. And I will invite you to ask her about that because she can explain it better than I can or to read the announcement in the bulletin. But that, if you'd like to figure out what's all going on, is also via Zoom, so let the church office know that you want an invitation. I'll keep saying that. Let the church office know. Coming up on the 4th of October, it's the Blessing of the Pets for St. Francis. And we are going to do it, because we always do it. It just, this one might be a little different. Um, it will also be, uh, at least part of it anyway, will be via Zoom. So if you want your pet individually blessed, let the church office know that you want an invite to the Zoom session and then just show up at 11.45 on the 4th, have your pet in your arms or in a cage or however you need to, to bring your pet and we will bless them. We are working on trying to figure out a way to do a drive-by pet blessing. We haven't gotten there yet, but I'll let you know if we do. Um, finally, uh, we have a backpack ministry at Holy Trinity in which we provide adult day packs or small duffel bags with clothes, clothing, toiletries, bus tokens, mail cards, a New Testament, a mask these days, and other little things that we give to men and women who are being released from Lemon Creek. And at this point, we need uh, day packs and duffels. So if you've got a gently used one, you got some new ones, you want to contribute some new ones, uh, please call Stara Isto. And, or if you want to give money toward that or anything else of the ministries of the church, you can do that online on the Holy Trinity website. You just click on the donate button or you can send a check to the church. And I think, unless anybody else has got anything else, that is all the announcements that I have. And I've lost, so here we go. <laughs> go out in the strength of God's gracious gifts. Live lives worthy of the gospel of Christ. Stand firm in one spirit. Strive with one mind for the faith of the gospel. And may the power of the presence of God go with us. May the call of Christ lead us into fruitful labor. And may the Holy Spirit fill us with the joy of grace. Let us go in peace to treasure and to tend the world God made and loves. In the name of Christ, amen. Alleluia. And thank you for joining us today. At 1145, we'll be having coffee on Zoom. So that's another place you have to call. You have to let us know you want an invite. And may God who made both heaven and earth bless us. Amen. <laughs>